record on this computer. Okay, friends, very good evening to all of you. My name is Ramzan, and today we are going to learn one very, very interesting topic for next one hour, and that is the pivot table. In pivot table, I'm going to show you how do you create a summary report, and not only summary report, but we will also learn how do you create a nice looking beautiful dashboard and how do you create a chart on that how do you create interactive buttons on that so it is going to be a very very interesting topic today okay so let's get started the first step is opening a file and then i will show you why to create pivot how to create pivot and everything will follow okay so let's get started. So now you all will open a file, friends, with the name pivot table, that is the data for sales. Okay. So I will quickly go to my five day practice file. And over here, I have a file with the name sales data for pivot table. You all have to open this file sales data for pivot table. I will wait for a few seconds over here till the time you all can open the file, okay? <clears throat> Perfect, so I hope uh, everybody has uh, opened the file frames, okay? So can we start? Very good, some many people have said done, done. Do you have opened the file? Okay, great. So I'm starting now actual session, okay? So what happens friends? Let's take a live and practical scenario. My manager tells me, Ramzan, I want some report, okay? And he tells me, go to the Oracle server or SQL server or any of your internal server and download the sales data. So you go to that server and you download some data. It can be a financial data. It can be a HR data. It can be a operational data. It can be any data. Now, after downloading a data, you get this file or this data you might have maintained manually. It can be any way. So you have number column, you have date, customer, age, uh, product, city, who is the person who did sales, product price, quantity, and here you have a simple formula which is doing multiply product into quantity sales. Or it can be your customer transactions. Okay, so there can be many scenario. So after getting this data, what you will do? You have a data from 2005. You see this date is of 2005. Jen, I'm going down February, March, April, and then it will start go till December, then 2007, 2008, you can, uh, nine. You can see the B column, okay? And it goes till 2013. So from 2005 till 2013, I have around eight years of data, okay? We will not just learn that go to the insert and create pivot table. I'm not going to teach you that way. That is a very easy way to do, but I will make you understand in what scenario I will make you understand the background. So next three, four minutes, I am going to take a theory part only. And after that, you can expect the practicals. Okay. Because I wanted to prepare your base. So now let's take same scenario. You downloaded this file. And now I have just sent you this file and I am saying, Mr. Ali, this is the data which is having 3000 records. Okay. And I want you to create some report and I'm your manager and I'm telling, can you quickly show me each person did how much sales Ramzan did how much sales? David, this how much sales? Each person did how much sales? Tell me. Okay. In the same way, I can say product wise that each product, how much is the total sales? Each year, how much is the total sales? Tell me each year, how much is the total sales? Each year, each month, how much is the total sales? 
which age group is coming in my company or which age group is purchasing from my store what product they are purchasing which is the product which is sold most in which city sales is happening who is the sales person who is doing more sales and in which city and what product is selling what is a percentage contribution of each person towards the total sales there are how many records for each city for each person for each product so this actually is the sales report i have created all these reports a lot a lot so i know all the reports you tell me financial report i will tell you you tell me hr reports i know i have worked in an mis where i was doing all this reporting for different different departments so i have an idea so now friends you got a data and your manager tells you to create all this reports so now what is your option what you will do if you don't know pivot what you will do you will do only one option you will come over here and you will press control shift l you will do filter and you will filter on let's say ajman and you get all the records of ajman you will select all the total and in the end you will see what is the total of ajman then for each city you want so now then you will filter on abu dhabi then you will calculate total sales of abu dhabi then you want for dubai you will select the dubai you will do it for dubai like this friends it is going to take lots of time you will create the report see today you will not learn pivot if you would have not come in a session your work would have not stopped correct but it would have took time friends so now to create so many reports you would have took lots of time you have to do copy paste find filter sheet add and everything to avoid all these things we use pivot table so now i will come over here and like every time i will open a small notepad and quickly i will type over here pivot table so what is pivot table it is used to create summary reports from a huge database you have a big database this database i have took very small it's a mid level you can say mid size database 3000 records is okay but if you have 20000 records 50000 records 80000 records okay then what you do with that record that you have to create into the summary if you give this report friends to your manager what your manager will understand from this he can't understand anything it is just a transactions when you convert this report into the summary report then that is meaningful your management needs report your management wants to analyze the data what they will do by seeing 3000 records so that's why we are planning to convert this big database into small small summary report by which management can analyze the data okay so pivot table is used to create summary report from huge database more two minutes you have to be patient and have to listen to me the theory part uh, then we will go over the practical because these are very important okay now before creating pivot table okay before creating pivot table what are the checks okay what are your checks the first thing which you should take care is this in your data there should be no spelling mistake no spelling mistake what do you mean by this for example i have a cities over here at one place you have abu dhabi with space and there is another abu dhabi but here you don't have a space so now this abu dhabi and this abu dhabi friends are two different city when you will create a report it will show you two different city so no spelling mistake if there is a spelling mistake you have to change manually this is very clear okay or you have to use find and replace and change it in the same way one place over here you have ajman written okay let's say dubai here after dubai you have a space and here in dubai you don't have a space still when you create you will you are you will have a problem how you will come to know there is a space if you want to know is there a space now i can't see any space but when i double click 
now i i can double click and see otherwise how you will see so there are some tricks which we cover in formula but just for your reference we use a len function len means len you see here it shows 6 and when i put this formula here it shows 5 means len length of the a uh, word so it means there are five characters in this and there is six character natural then six character will be the space just to give you an idea that we cover in formula but just give you idea so the first thing is no spelling mistake plus no extra spaces the second very important thing your data should not be merged for example here there are three records of printers sometimes we have a habit of merging we do merge like this it looks good wow for all this three record i have put merge and i have put printers over it looks good but for pivot table it is bad because when you will tell excel pivot table that there are how many printers so he will count this as one printer he will not count this as three because this is a merge cell he will just search printer so the cell should be unmerged and all the places the data should be filled otherwise it will not count so i will say over here no merge cells like this there are three four things we will not go in many things the third and very important thing is your column heading should not be blocked otherwise how pivot will come to know this is which column so try not to have column heading as blank and the fourth and a very very important thing is regarding dates date format should be clean or let's say clear okay what do you mean by this somewhere friends you have date month and year somewhere you have first month and then date and then year very difficult excel will not accept you can't create yearly monthly reports on that it is not possible in fact in excel there is no formula also which can rectify that you have to do manually but if you download a data where this come as a text format then you can convert with date formula but first is year somewhere then month then it will be very difficult friend but you have to clear that and the last and a small point which should be taken care is try not to have entire row or column as blank okay means what i'm trying to say is here your entire row should not be blank see there is no problem but when you go to the insert and when you say pivot table see it will select only this much okay it will not select this then you have to press shift down arrow key control shift down then you have to select manually so that's why we say try not to have entire row or column as blank okay otherwise when you okay normally when you download a data from your server you will never get a spelling mistake either all spelling will be wrong or all will be right you will also not have a merge cell you will always have a column heading as clear means column heading will be there only the date format will not be clear this you have to work and and there will be no blank row also in that okay so sometime when you create uh, data on your own that time all this problems comes otherwise this problem does not arise okay now friends we will move ahead now we will actually now i am starting a session almost after 15 minutes of explanation now we wanted to create some reports so what i will do i will take few more minutes not few more minutes i think just a one minute reports what are the reports that we can create one we can create city wise sales you can create product wise sales you can say person wise you can say yearly report you can say weekly report you can create monthly report you can say daily report and you can say quarterly report all these reports friends i will show you one option in starting i am taking theory it's because it's understanding when you will do practical you will say wow it's so simple okay calculating contribution contribution of each city towards total sales okay total records in 
each city okay like this you can do lots of reports i can go on 20 minutes we can do only reporting part understanding now let's start so now as i told you will take a lots of time in doing filtering 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 now how do you create this report very simple just put the cursor inside the data no need of selecting entire row or entire data no just put the cursor inside the data halas and then you have to go to insert from here you have to remember because this you will do practical on your own after a few minutes i go to the insert and on the left hand side you get one option pivot table pivot table in fact you can first convert this into table and can also do that is also possible so i click on pivot table and you will get this screen see is asking where is your range so he has automatically selected my range entire range yes selected see till 3208 okay now he is asking you second question choose where you want to create a pivot table so you can create in a same sheet which is not advisable i will never advise you to create summary report in a same sheet no always create in a new sheet so always by default this will be selected you just have to say okay friend nothing you have to do when you say okay you will see a new sheet have will be inserted over here there will be a new sheet over here so i say okay you see a sheet has been inserted and now if you want you can rename it but i'm not renaming you can rename double click and rename now for those people who are new listen very carefully those who have never worked on pivot i have inserted a sheet over here and this is the area where all your reports will come just on a click of a button okay and on the right hand side this is your field list it means here you have product city sales product and all this column these are which column friends these are the columns of this means this are the this is the heading so all these names has come over here these are the names of the column and these are the four areas you have filter column rows and value these are the four areas okay where you will drag the column okay and your report will be created over here so what was my first report city by sales if i do filter it will take lots of time now you see what i will do i will just come on the city okay and i just click and when i click on city you will see automatically this city has been dragged under the row area and on the left hand side all the unique names of the city has come all the unique names has come and in column b over here i want total sales so where is my sales column this is my sales column sales column is which column it is a number column so when i click on this sales automatically it will be dragged to the values so the number column will always come under the value so that it aggregates aggregates means plus minus this is known as aggregations so i drag city under the row and always the number i will put it over here now you will say okay ramzan what are these two columns i will explain slowly slowly let me uncheck the sales now you see when i put city under the row it has come like this from here you can drag i'm dragging the city from here to column if i put the city under the column it will come like this dubai sharja means uh, horizontal it has come and if you put this city under the row it will come like this okay sometime friends when your cursor is inside here you will see this this right area helper but when you click outside see i'm clicking outside automatically this will go so when it goes don't worry don't worry it has gone don't worry it will come back when you click inside it will come back so again i click on city and i click on sale i got city by sale okay this is the first step after creation of this your manager tells you that hitain can you tell me each city this is the total sales but which are the product got sold so you will take the product and put it under the row you can drag also see i'm dragging the product and putting under the row area here and you will go more detail okay each city this much is the sale but these are the product got sold in fact if i take the product from here to the column and you will see an interesting report and you see this report each city 
each product, how much is the sales? If I tell you now that take this data and create a report same like this, you will at least take 15 to 20 minutes because for each one of them, you have to do filter, copy, paste, filter, hear what you did, nothing you did. You just drag the city under the row, you drag product under the column and you put sales under the value and your work is done. Now friends, remember, I know in this batch we have people from HR. Kim is from HR. Ajmal is from HR. Faraz is from learning and development. Three people I know, they are from the HR. So they will say, Ramzan, this is a sales data. How I will do? So this is a pivot table as a tool. You can apply it on any data. Even if it is a HR data, you can use it by understanding. But still, just for the clarity, because this session I'm taking in depth. So what I will do for the benefit of other people to open your mind, I will open another file. Don't practice. Wait. I'm opening another file. I'm going to the, my desktop. And this file you will not have because this I take when I take an exclusive session for Excel for HR. This is my sheet, friends. Okay. This is the HR data. Okay. And in this data, I hope you all are able to see. Okay. So over here, you have first name, last name, gender. Okay. Kim, this is for you. Ajmal, this is for you. Uh, Rehal, if you have joined the session, this is for you. Faraz, this is for you because you all deal with the employee data. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you have gender, you have nationality, you have department, you have marital status. How many people are there? You have 2,400 employees. You have people from different nationalities, department, marital status, employment, passport number, expiry date, designation, job level, cost center, location, faith, Muslim, Sikh, who is this? Everything you have, right? Now, this 2400 data, what you will do, Ajman? This data is of no use unless and until you convert into the reports. Correct? You, my, your manager will say, Okay, Ajman, can you show me there are how many people from each nationality? Now you see, friends, what will happen. Really, I'm giving you a live experience how we work in company. I have shown you the sales example wherein I have put city here and number I will put over here. But here there will be very different column. Hence, I am explaining data of HR. In HR data, you don't have sales. So which column you will put over there? So I will go to insert. You will say pivot and I say OK. Here I took nationality where I will put in a row. So I got all the people from each nationality is there in my company. Now, as I told you, sales you will bring in under the value, but HR people don't have a sales. If it is a salary, then you can take, okay, uh, department wise salary, location wise salary, product, uh, whatever it is, okay? No, we'll not take product. So here there is no. So what you will do? Here, what you have to do, you have to take the same nationality column and you have to put it under the value. Now, nationality is which column? It is alphanumeric. It is not number column. So when you drag number column, it becomes sum. This is understanding friends. And when you drag nationality, it will become count. So automatically it took C count here. It took count. Okay. Because this is alphanumeric column and this is my uh, sales data here. It took some because I drag the number column. I hope you all are understanding. Okay. This I'm explaining all. So now when I come over here, you got Could you repeat the once again? I didn't understand. Sorry, sorry, Ali. Okay, okay. So over here, this way, friends, it is done. Now your manager tells you, hey Kim, each nationality there are so many people. Can you tell me in Bahrain there are 16 people in which department they are? So Kim, don't have to worry. They have to just take department and put it under the nationality. And here you go. Oh my God. All Bahrain people who are in our company, all are in sales. Oh, this is a problem. All from one commute or from one, uh, this uh, nationality, how all people are in sales. Yeah. Here you have a, there are 447 people from Egypt, Egypt, and they all are in spread in different, different. So here we have some concern. 
there are Denmark, all people are from production. Getting friends, so this way, or you can say department wise. I can put department on the top and here it will give. Okay, in administration, there are people from Egypt, Philippines and Syria. Understanding, so this way, okay, this you can make it more interesting. What you do over here, you know? Here you can take department and put it under the column. And here you give you a long list, okay, which people are in which department. So I just wanted to tell you this way pivot table is helpful for HR also for salespeople also. This is very, very interesting. You know, I remove the department from here. I remove the nationality from here. Here I will go down and I will say location. Okay, through each location, so many people are there in our company. From this, you have so many people in each. It's so simple, you don't have to do anything. How many people are there from each faith? You click on a faith and I got, okay, this many people are there from each faith. How many people are with job location, manager, non-manager? Okay, I wanted to see their location. So you put a location and it becomes an interesting report. Wow. So in Dubai, you have so many managers. In Abu Dhabi, you have so many managers. I wanted to see designation wise, take the designation wise. This is really amazing. On pivot table for HR, I take two hours of session only for pivot reporting. That is a separate session for HRs. But just now the talk has come because in this we have people from HR also, from training, from finance, from operation. <laughs> it's a mixed group. Okay. So I hope you all are understanding, friends. This is my knowledge sharing sessions. Okay. So now what I will do is I will wait, I think, over here for two to three minutes. And you will first create this simple report. Those who know good, those who don't know, you create this report, just free your hands, okay? And then I will show you the percentage of, uh, the concept of percentage, the concept of count. I will show you date-wise, year-wise, month-wise, concept of reporting, concept of slicers. So everything we will do, just go ahead. Because after this, all are simple, simple and interesting topic, okay? So I'm waiting over here for next few minutes. And then when you will complete, you will just tell me completed. Okay. I'm just pausing the video. Recording. Sorry. I think I have to explain this part again so that if you see the video, you don't miss. Okay. Okay, friends. So I have now city wise sales. I want over here one more column of count and one more column of percentage. So you will take the sales and you will put it under the value. And over here, you will just right click. You will say summarize value by, and here you get an option count. If you want average sale, you take average sale, minimum, maximum, whatever. So I say count, khalas. so I got sales. So there are seven transactions happening in Umul Kuwain. Other all are happening same. I have just copy pasted in a database, that's why. I want a third column where it should show me the percentage. So same, this sales, one more time I am dragging under the value and I will, I have three now, this sales column here. So here you have three sales. How do you convert this to the percentage? You will right click. You will right click. You will say summarize, no, not summarize, but show value as. And here you get an option, percent of grand total. Remember this, I will wait to show you over here for a few seconds. Percentage of grand total. I click on it and over here you will see percentages come. And now you can rename total sales, total records and I say contribution. And then you can select and let's say, I say center or alt H A C or alt H B A. Now you see this report, this big report, 3000. Who will understand? We converted this into the nice looking summary report. This your management needs from you. So one more time I will show you so that those who are not, uh, uh, I want you to see. It was data was like this. I took the sales, put it under the value. I took the sales, put it under the value. Two time I tried. Then on second one, I right click, summarize value by and I say count. It became count. I right click, I said summarize value, uh, sorry, show value as, and here I say grand total. So count is in summarize value by, percentage is in below option, percentage of column total, and you will get this, got it? And then you will come over here and you will say total sales, 
total record this you know go ahead friends give it a try i will wait for next two minutes okay when you are done let me know i will still right click on it and to show you i will just skip it so that you can see my screen and do last one minute and then we will move to the third step of the pivot if you are done just let me know friends okay i will right click summarize value by here is your count option if you want to see very good oh many people have said done okay percentage one more time yes balaji i will show you percentage one more time see what i did i took this sales and put it under the value then i right click on this i went to this option show value as and i said percent of column total if you have a old version you will not get this on a right click okay if you are having 2013 and 16 then you will get it all right okay so this way balaji we do okay so many people have said dan sebastian shahul rasik noor ali very good very good many people have said i will just wait for few seconds more two three said so, said so, so there was a question from hasan uh, i think agarwal uh, if we change this in uh, agarwal yeah this we change into a dynamic uh, format can we add or subtract uh, data yes yes ah uh, har shagarwala i just so i have made the table dynamic if i am adding a new data how to update in pivot data ah good 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 question harsh i will reply on that in fact i can show you on this data very interesting way okay pay attention friends i have pasted on a, all the data in a new sheet okay first step i am making it control t and i am pressing enter okay see the beauty i have converted i go to the insert i say table and i say pivot table i say okay now this pivot table i created on a dynamic table now i click on city are wo gadi and i click on sales so i got city wise sales correct now you see the benefit now i go over here and i go to the end okay and i copy the few extra rows and i'm pasting down and instead of the name of the city over here i say for example toronto okay and i paste a name of the city over here now when you will come over here here you just have to right click and you just have to say refresh nothing you have to do if you will not convert into table what normally people do they go to the analyze they go to the change data source and then they increase the range got it so they go to data analyze and change it now you don't have to do anything you just have to right click refresh you see automatically toronto will come you see this has come this is the benefit of converting a data into table that in future if you add more data automatically your data will be updated you just have to refresh refresh you have to do in any case okay without refresh nothing will happen i say for example mumbai i pasted mumbai extra data i came over here i say right click i say refresh kala so whenever you will make any kind of changes you have to right click on the data and refresh it will not update automatically here i came and uh, i changed some name instead of ramzan i said ramzan rajani 
I, I change some amount. So after this, you have to right click and once you have to say, you make 10 changes in a master file, one refresh is needed. Okay, friends, I hope I answered the question. And I think now we should move ahead. Let me see if somebody has typed something. Okay, so friends, if I miss anybody's question, feel free to tell me, okay? Uh, Balaji has a question. Is percentage can be done in older version? Kindly help. Okay. So if you are using Balaji, the old version, it is possible. In old version, how do you calculate the percentage? Let's say this is the old version. I right click and first show percentage. This option is not there. Let's take this way. Now what to do? Then you have to right click. And then Balaji, you have to click on this uh, uh, value field setting. This you will get in the old version value field setting listen and in value field setting here you get one option show value as this is a show value as here it is asking you no calculation so here you will click and there you get one option percent of grand total so you have to right click go to value field setting in that show value as and percentage of grand total class and you got the percentage okay this I remembered because in old version we were doing like this. Now so latest version so that right click and nobody goes there. But it was a good question. Okay friends, I think I should move ahead. Uh, great. Thanks uh, Harsh. Okay. Now friends, I will again come over here and now we will learn more interesting things. Now your manager tells you, hey Harsh, what I want is, I want you to create a yearly report. Each year how much sales, each month how much sales, or each year how much hiring, each year how much attrition, each month how much payroll is going, payroll is increasing or decreasing, all these things. You go to the insert, go to the pivot table, just say okay. Now what you will do, this is a date column. So I click on a date column, all the years has come on the left hand side. And I will drag it down and I say this sales. I will put it under the value. So now I got each year how much is the total sale. Got it? If you are using an old version, if you are using a, and you don't get like this and you get only the dates, then what you have to do, you know, you have to right click and you have to click on group. Right click on that date and say group if you are using old version. And here there is an option grouping, which is wonderful. I remove the quarters and I say, I want to see only year and month report. And I say, okay, you see, I got each year, each month, how much is the sales? Very good. Again, I say, right click. Again, I say group. I wanted to see each year, each month, how much is the sales or attrition or payroll, whatever it is. And I say each year, each quarter, I say, okay, so it will show you each year, each quarter. Now this quarter, you can put it under the column. So from here, one is a year and another is a date. So this date I'm dragging under the column and it becomes an interesting report. Wow. If I tell you to create this report on your own, Kalas, you are gone. Your half day is gone to create these things. But here, just drag, drop and within seconds you are able to do. So I want you to create now this report date wise, uh, sales okay year wise so now put the date under the row and then sales under the column then you can right click on this and uh, right click on this and you will click on group okay i will wait over here friends so that you all can practice make sure you practice so that you will learn okay and when you all are done tell me yes then i will move ahead
Oh, very good. Dinesh is done. Noor, Francie, Kiran. Very good. Four people have done. Mashallah. Very good. Hasibuddin, Rasik. Ali. Hush, good. Falaz, did you got connected? Are you trying? Uh, Ramzan, can you help me in older question, please? Who is this? Balaji? Okay, Balaji, you are using old version. I will tell you. In old version, what will happen? In old version, what will happen? You know? Yeah. In old version, over here, on this side, you will see all the dates. Are you seeing only the dates? Balaji? Can you hear me? Are you seeing only the dates over here? Okay, I don't know if he's able to hear me. So if you are able to hear me, Balaji, you have to right click on that date and you have to click on group. It's the same method in old version also. Just you have to right click and you have to say group. And you will get this. And then here you have to select year or month or year or a quarter. Okay. If you are able to hear me, just say yes so that I can move ahead here. Okay, friends. So I think we should move ahead now. Very good. Shamshul, Ali Abbas, Ali Hemani, done, done, done. Very good. Now, friends, it's a time. To show you something more interesting okay I want you to pay attention on the screen okay very nice thing I'm going to explain you so now your manager wants to see city wise sales on that he wanted to see a chart and then he want a selection of buttons that he wanted to see okay each product sold how much in each city something like this he wanted to check okay so you see how beautiful we will create. You will go to the insert tab and you will click on pivot table. This is very nice thing. We will use slicer, which we used, I think, uh, yesterday or day before and dynamic table we had used. So I say insert pivot table. Okay. Here I'm just creating a product wise sales. I took a product and I took a sale. So this is my Product wise sales. Okay, very simple report. I'm showing you product wise sales. Okay, after creating product wise sales, I wanted to create a chart. Okay, let me see who will tell me what is a shortcut for creating a chart. I want to create a chart. What shortcut I will? Alt F1. Mashallah, very good. So you say Alt F1 and your chart is created on this. Okay, I will go to the design and I take any of these design from here i'm connected I, ramzan very good i right click add data label so we just started for, for us i just cre inserted one pivot this uh, uh pre created a product by sales and on that i just pressed alt uh, f1 and i created the chart okay so i presented my data each product this is the total sales but my manager says ramzan this is good but i wanted to know each city so this hard disk sales is of all the city. 
I wanted to know for a particular city. So I will bring my cursor in pivot and I will go to insert. And in insert tab, I will go on the right hand side. Here there is an option slicer, which we used on day two in dynamic table, if you all remember. I click on slicer over here and you will see the slicer. And I say, I want the slicer of city. Lovely. And I say, okay, I will drag this slicer and nicely put it over here. Okay. And you give this to the management. Halas. They will click on Dubai. You have Dubai sales. Sharja, Sharja, Rasul Kaima, Ajman, Umul Kuwain, Abu Dhabi. If they want to bring all again, they will click on this option clear filter. This is a clear filter, friends. I'm clicking on clear filter and everything is back. Your manager says, oh, I also wanted to know Faraz, what do you know? I also wanted to know each person did how much sales. So you don't have to take any tension, Nur Muhammad. What you will do? You will go to the insert by putting a cursor inside and you say slicer. Slicer of what? I want slicer of salesperson. Where is salesperson here? Salesperson. And I say, okay, wow. So I got another slicer over here. Put it nicely over here. You can format it afterwards. Okay. And here I wanted to see each product. This is the sale. But how much Ramzan has done? Where is Ramzan? So I click on my name, Ramzan. Okay, so this is my sales. I click on Sabina. I click on Raj. I click on Radhika. Okay, I wanted to see Muhammad did how much sales in Dubai. So I clicked on Muhammad and I click on Dubai. Amazing. Got it? So this is also updating. This is also updating. So this is lovely option. I click on clear. I click on clear. Okay, next three minutes is yours. Create a product wise chart. Create a product wise summary report. Create a chart on that. Go to insert and click on a slicer. Quick, everybody, I'm waiting for the your message that you are done. Okay. Can you show again, please? What what, what Ali Hamani want to see? This one means I just explained slicer. You want me to repeat that? Nur Muhammad is done. How do you bring the chart? Okay. First, you will create the pivot and you will put the cursor in the pivot. And from you will press Alt F1. You will press Alt F1 or Alt Function F1. Or you can go to Insert Ali. Sir, and over here, you see this chart. You see this chart. And I click on the first one. And here, you can insert this chart. Okay. You have different ways. Okay, Faraz, if you are not, uh, can't hear you. Okay. I can hear you now. I can okay. hear you. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. Dan is done. Hasibuddin is done. Ali is done. Kim is done. Very good. Sebastian is done. Very good. Very good. Okay, those who are done, I will show you some one more thing. Okay, those who are doing, you can do. Uh, here you can change the color also, friends. Like I click on a city slicer. On the top, you will see slicer option. First, select this slicer, okay? Means just to make it more look good, you can click on the color and I can come over here and you can even select different colors uh, if you want, okay? Great. Harsh Agarwal, no slicer. Harsh, no slicer. Uh, either you are using an old version, that's why you are not having a slicer. But you still check, it is over here. Uh, I will put my cursor inside the data. 
go to insert and there is a area filter that you will see two options slicer and timeline if you are not having this it means then it is your old version Humayu is done, Ali Abbas, Ajmal, Rase. Good, good. Okay, friends. So let's move ahead. So now, friends, we will take one just 30 seconds of break. Not a break, but we will take a quick selfie. So now it's a time to on your video and we will quickly take a photo and then we will continue with our session of creating a summary report. Means now we will bring all our reports in one screen. Okay. So that we will see after taking one small uh, group photo, yeah? So I have started my video now, everybody. And I think you all should start your video, okay? And let me see how I can zoom it. I think I have to stop my sharing. So before stopping, I will stop the, pause the recording. Just remind me that start the recording. I sometimes forget that, okay? Resume recording. Okay, friends, I will stop my video. Okay, friends, let's move ahead quickly. So now it's a time to learn how do you bring all these sheets in one? How do you bring this in one? Okay, you will really enjoy this now next few minutes. Today the session might go a little bit more like 15, 20 minutes. Okay, uh, because pivot table is very big and I don't want to skip anything and just close the session. We have to wait for 15, 20 minutes more. Now I go to the transaction and now we are doing a final look. How do you bring everything in one? Now next five minutes friends, I will do. You will not do anything. You will just see. Those who are doing with me till now, I request them not to do. Pay attention. First step. Insert, pivot table, okay. I will rename the sheet. I say summary. Let me delete all these unwanted sheets. I have deleted all my other sheets. By mistake, don't delete a transaction sheet, okay? I inserted one pivot and I rename a sheet with summary. This is an interesting topic which I'm taking, so pay attention. I am first creating a report, let's say for example, regular. And uh, over here I say sales. So I created first report that through discount coupon, how much sales I got and without discount coupon how much I got. I will say control A, not control A like this, not a whole sheet. Don't put the cursor and select whole sheet, no. Put the cursor inside and say control A, only this much you select. And you say control C for copy. I copied the data. I will put my cursor below and I say control V. This is the important part. We are not doing any rocket science. We are just doing copy paste, nothing else. I copy pasted the pivot, okay? Now in second pivot, I got the same thing, but in a second pivot, I don't want that because it's already has. So in second pivot, you will come over here and you will close the regular and you will take the payment method over here. No need of changing sum of sales. Only so I got on the same screen, a second report. Again, I will select the second report, only this much area. So the best way is to do this. I put my cursor here and any cell, control A, control C for copy, put the cursor down and say control V for paste. Now friends, this is my third pivot. Same I came, but on third I don't want. So I remove the payment method and I put the product. So I put the product and I got the product wise. Again, I will say control uh, select all, control C for copy, I will put my cursor here and you will say control V for paste. I'm not doing anything, just doing copy paste, copy paste. And I will remove the product and I will say city wise. Again, I will select this. I say copy. I put the cursor and I say paste. I remove the city, I say person wise. In the same way, here you can add year wise, here you can say percentage, here you can say count, you can have multiple reports. As we don't have much time, so I think five reports is sufficient. So this is the first step. What you will do? The first step. Ah. So I say step. 
Just give first, me two three minutes. That's it. First step: copy paste each pivot below each other and change the column. What is the second step? You know, if you see all the pivot friend, the heading is same. Row label row Excel does not change this. So here you just have to spend few seconds. I said discount wise. I said this is my. Just I'm changing the heading manually. Okay, you have to change it manually. And this is my product wise. This is my name wise, and this is my city wise. So the second step is changing the name of the heading. The third step is changing the color of each pivot. Okay, how you will change? You will go to the home, and in the home you have an option. Format as table. You will click on this. Okay, let me see. I have started the recording. Yes, recording started. So I come on my first pivot friend. I go to the home, and there is an option format as table, and I click on this. I click on second pivot. I go to format as table. I click on second one. I click on this. I go to format as table. Means all the steps everywhere you have to repeat. I take this. Okay, this is my liking. I do this way. To be very frank, okay. If you think no, no, Ramzan, I don't want all this color. I want same color. Keep it same color. It's your this, okay. Now the next step is these are the grid lines. I don't like grid lines also. So remove the grid lines. Actually, not remove. I can say uh, uh, disable something like that. So how do you remove? Don't fill white color over here. You have to go to view, and here you get an option grid lines. I close the grid lines, so this area became white. You have to wait more two minutes. Okay, remove grid lines. How you will remove the grid lines? You will go to the view, and you say uncheck grid lines. You can take the photo of this, or I will share. The video is there. Yeah. Now I will create yeah. the heading. I will select the heading friends, and over here you know how do you do the merge? So I say merge. and over here you can fill the color and let's say i type sales dashboard i say india and i say for example cdec okay any just i name i took and i came over here and i say let's say white color bold i increase this okay now you will say why you insert it till here why not here i will tell you now on this friends i came on city wise i am inserting a slicer okay then i say on city wise i want a slicer of product so i took the product size so it will look really amazing you will love this okay let me make it small let me make it small i come on the name and on this i am inserting a slicer let's say of city and i say okay how it will benefit so that we can filter more on that part okay okay i will change the color to this i will change the color to this okay now you see you had so many reports we brought all the reports on one screen and now i click on hard disk this is changing laptop this is changing printer this is changing again i click on it all back i click on dubai so this is changing because on this i came and i inserted a pivot slicer so this slicer is for this this slicer is for this again i click on the clear and everything got clear so just without forgetting after i remove the grid lines what i will do after removing the grid lines create the heading by by merging cells of row 1 and then what you will do insert the slicer slicer okay by going to insert tab okay So if you have a phone, friends, you can quickly take this step, or you. I will just skip it over here. Uh, recording to happening, but still, if you want, you can just take. So I will just skip it like this, both things, so that you can see, so that uh, you can create this. Okay. Now, friends, it's your time to create. I took five minutes. Take five minutes and create because this is very important thing. Okay. Go ahead and try. Uh, what it says then is in notepad make it pivot instead of paste 
make it pivot instead of paste okay 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 i did some typing mistake or what instead of paste where it is written where i have written copy paste each pivot ah, okay okay <laughs> good observation dinesh okay copy paste each i was typing fast hence it happened okay okay Good. You can take a screenshot of it if for mobile if you want, yeah.